フルカウンター Alright, lads, welcome back. So, the two new characters coming this Wednesday for Black Claw Mobile have now been revealed. A shocker if you haven't been from the news, but it is Veto and Raya. These two are following, obviously, Fana and Liz. And from what we've seen from the actual leaked information, these two, I believe, are going to be quite broken. So, we're going to check out their skills in a few seconds. But let's go over the patch notes. And I believe gameplay towards Veto, Raya probably coming tomorrow. So, I'll probably cover him tomorrow when we do get his little trailer. But uh, I do like what they're doing here. So, let's check him out. All right. So, we are on the actual forms here. We have uh, Beto and Lyle. Is that what his names translate to? Sick. All right. So, yeah. Oh. By the way, obviously, this is from the actual skill page, but uh, once again, man, the best thing I love about Black Claw Mobile right now is the fact that we're gonna be getting insane arc for every character, and I cannot wait for the future, especially the stuff from the movie. I uh, made a video about that recently, so check that one out. But uh, we'll check out Veto in a second. Obviously, you can see Raya will be a separate banner, so very similar to Slick and Fana, they're gonna be separately. And uh, from the looks of it, nothing has been changed for the pity. The pity is still guaranteed, you know, 20 something to get the character. But what I'm hoping for in the future is that we're able to guarantee the skill page at, at least. 10 summons because uh the skill pages while they haven't been leaked for these two i don't believe or been revealed now um fauna for example was, was insanely broken i mean 10 percent magic attack and power or like more attack plus uh her buff towards her skill like um sometimes skill pages alone are worth summoning for and i think fun was definitely one of those characters but i uh, want to wait and see what these two do but uh let's check out the the gameplay let's see what he actually looks like because uh we haven't seen we haven't seen it yet all right i have the midnight sun Let's see what Veta looks like. I think, is it a tank or the blue one? Because it was too leap, by the way, if you lot didn't know. I, I'll cover it in a second. Yeah, so, I mean, bro, the heal Felix is the, the beta, of, bro. It's been a long time. Okay, so there is skills. I mean, we can translate somehow, I guess, online, but uh, we have a leaks as well. All right, so first skill, which is normal attack. It looks pretty boring, very nice. Like, I know it's the first Veta, so not going crazy, but just a single uppercut, fair enough. 2.4k damage, this guy's insane. And then the actual AOE, yeah, this, 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 yeah, see, like, this all looks alright. Why do they skimp out on the first skill? This looks sick. Like, Iron Fist and Boon gets, like, bare attacks. Okay, cool, that's not bad. And then, uh, the ultimate as well is, uh, ooh, the hands, bro. Ooh. See, look, bro, why did he not give, like, just a little bit of a glow? Or oh, the transition, that was sick. Okay, is he AOE? Let me check. That looks single target. It could be AOE. Okay, I think I only see one pass in there, so it might only be single target. Okay, I don't think we're able to tell what actual uh, color he is because... Uh, oh, no, he's red. Okay, cool. So, on screen, now you can see, there was, I think, a blue one leaked for some reason. This is post... I wouldn't even say leaked. Revealed. I don't know what you want to call it, but I believe the actual devs posted this on some other uh, social media for Black Claw Mobile that wasn't in like, the UK or, like, you know, the Western. I think it might have been in, like... Uh, Indonesia or something like that, right? When he posted this picture, and you, they kind of spoiled the next upcoming characters. So, obviously, I think you can see Raya, you can see two Vettos, and the big one, you can see Swimsuit Charlotte, who obviously has been to be the new seasonal character. Probably coming, I believe, after this banner. I think at the end of July, we're going to get season two. So, I do believe you probably will get Charlotte then. And I think the next two characters after Veto and obviously Raya are going to be Dorothy and I think. Faust? Is that his name? I can't remember his name. The captain, right? Because I think other than Dorothy, the other captain, Vet and Raya, I think these are all the four characters we got revealed during the lead-up towards Black Claw Mobile. They're the ones in the promotional trailers. These are the ones that were teased that were coming to the game. So other than the fact that we have leaks, these are the only characters we know should be coming next. So it makes sense. And to fair, boys, I'm definitely going to be summoned for Dorothy because it's Dorothy. We got you. All right, so on screen now is going to be Veto skills. Now, bear in mind, things will likely change or could change here because as you can see, the typing has changed. The character was leaked to be a blue defender but he is now a red defender but uh, his first skill and maybe it's translated wrong here once again this is like around uh two weeks old now but it does say he does single target damage and inflicts a weapon damage debuff effect onto an enemy i'm not entirely too sure weapon damage does maybe it's crit damage or pen damage i'm not entirely too sure but i look through most of the characters in game and maybe it's translated wrong here but uh i don't believe anyone has a, a debuff called weapon damage so it might be a new thing in the game so we'll see what that actually does uh, the next skill is going to be an AOE card, which we saw in the gameplay, which uh, increases debuff durations, which I think is quite good for an actual AOE debuff effect. I mean, I think Mars can do it on an AOE. I think Lotus can do it on a single target and a tier 2 skill. So having an AOE debuff extender is uh, going to be quite nice. So that's uh, generally not too bad. Plus, I imagine you can extend your weapon damage debuff that you do apply with your single target. And it looks guaranteed too. So uh, yeah, this is overall a pretty decent kit, depending on what the actual debuff does. 
Alright, that's your ultimate. If you want to do a single target ultimate that applies vampiric effect to yourself. If the enemy has weapon damage debuff after applying... Okay, so yeah, basically, it's uh, very much like Farnas AoE. So, Farnas AoE, if you have burn effect, when you actually use your AoE ultimate or your AoE skill, you're actually gonna lifesteal, like what you saw right there, right? So, I think that's kind of good single target-wise. It can do alright damage, but no damage increase, really. And once again, that weapon damage does make him do even more damage. But, uh, maybe it passes my to carry him so is that passive is vampire so it looks like the vampire buff is gonna grant him toughness buff if he has the vampire buff on so uh you really really want to have that actually yeah you go single target first always to get your actual vampire buff on for your ultimate when you do that you're gonna apply toughness with yourself so i guess you can tank and it does say uh for we don't know the turn so it um could be two three turns that would be kind of good i guess and his awakened passive is going to be reducing damage to boss type enemies which i don't seem that great all right so on screen now too is the character's partner skills you know the combined attack and also the, the skill pages which i'm not going to read word for word to be kind of read for yourself uh, honestly i think the grimoire passive seems quite good for him or maybe i guess that's it, uh, anyone because if you actually just apply this grimoire passive to anyone then you can apply it towards a defender for example because only defenders can use his actual uh, you know skill page you're going to get a barrier based if you're attacking the start of battle i seem or when recovering so that does seem quite good i think if anything the, the skill page especially with after fauna the skill page is like the way to go for a lot of characters next character is raya and raya looks absolutely insane not to mention visually i can't wait to see the animations because uh we saw a little bit of it with the league gameplay already and uh, as you can see so far he is copying yami so literally he's basically yami just without the yami right which is uh quite interesting and he's kind of following his style quite a lot here so his uh, first skill is um yeah, gonna be mad. So he is actually gonna do an AoE skill on his tier one skill, and I believe there aren't that many. What well, Lotus, Yami, and the reason why those characters are so good because obviously just AoE in on a like on your skill one is just so important and so insane. And uh, this looks really, really good. He is going to attack AoE, but if you have a buff effect, you're going to do more damage, and I believe you have a chance to get an extra turn. So to do two possible AoE skills, I mean, that's just insane. His second skill is going to do a single target skill that's going to copy buffs, and I love the idea behind this, by the way, because uh, obviously the character is all about copying, that's his power, so I kind of like what you've done here. But uh, in PvE content, I don't really see it being too useful. I mean, you can see right now I'm farming, right? And uh, typically bosses, at least what you're doing when you're farming, uh, you don't typically copy buffs because you don't really have that many buffs but i do think in pvp this could be generally quite insane which uh yeah i mean if they buff up with uh william they buff up with lick for example uh they buff up with any Asta, for example gets crazy buffs too like you know this could be this could be nasty all right, so the actual ultimate is going to be a uh, AoE ultimate, which is going to grant an extra attack which uh, with X damage if you have two or more buffs. So basically, this guy wants to get buffs on. And from the looks of it, the character, once we go towards the passive skills in a second, has no way to buff up himself. So you do have to rely on the enemy team buffing up. And it's going to grant you extra attacks. And it's also going to grant you more damage in your ultimate as well. So if you do find a Raya in PvP, you want to make sure you go in with, with characters that don't have buffs. Otherwise, he's going to get extra attacks. And uh, once again, just rub them off you uh the actual passive is gonna be actually pretty good the looks of it when the buff effect ends on you so the one you rob the buff is gonna end and it's also going to uh heal you but only once per wave so uh, that's more or less restricted towards pve the passive is going to increase your attack power when the buff effect on you ends stacks up to a few times right i mean already like this alone looks insane if the guy can actually buff up himself which uh i don't believe you have his skill pages then uh this is going to be just insane character all right so on screen now is his actual skill pages and this is where the partner effects have come through and made the guy even more better right so his partner skill if you use him without anyone he is going to increase his crit rate which means he's going to get buff on so he's able to proc his other skills more easy and passive as well but uh this is where him coming in with lick comes clutch right after attacking with flicked obviously you're going to Copy the buffs in your partner. So if you buff up with William, you know, apply the buffs towards obviously, uh, you know, your lick to get him to do more damage. You're getting copy of Raya, and Raya's gonna obviously copy, I believe, the buff you you just apply to Lick, but also Lick's buffs too, because Lick obviously implies um more increased crit chance to himself, like acquire almost every single skill he does. So uh, you may get a lot of buffs here, which is uh gonna be kind of insane. Then the skill page effect is going to deal more damage to his extra attacks if there are two or more buffs. And a passive that can be applied to any attacker because either attacker is uh, going to increase your accuracy depending on buffs on the effects on the target. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you can see there's a lot going for um, for Raya. And I think he seems like the most interesting one, not only visually because he's copying Yami, but like 
you're playing around your enemy. You're obviously playing around your partner if you have licked as well. I like it. Like, generally, I think this could be quite insane, uh, especially with PvP. You can probably get a bit ridiculous. And the fact that he's a green character with an AoE skill, and uh, with, obviously, you kind of want to pair him up with, obviously, uh, Lit. Like, the blue meta might be uh, a bit scarce now. So, uh, you, we'll be able to see. Because you can run, like, a what? Lekt, Raya, and I think uh, for Goleon, and like, bro, like, you're not winning against, uh, the blue team's not winning, especially against Mars and stuff, like, the defensive teams. So, uh, yeah, boys, that is it for the video. Let me know you think, are you excited for these characters? Obviously, we'll see tomorrow how, actually, uh, Raya plays out, and, uh, we'll probably do a little reaction video to it as well. I'm looking forward to it. So, boys, thank you for watching. We'll be summoning. Uh, it's hard to say no, that I won't, but, uh, I really want Dorothy, so we'll have to wait and see. So, boys, thank you for watching, and, uh, yeah, peace.